Today we had our Project Converge Student Research Symposium. Students from uh, 15 schools around New Jersey and a couple from New York, they brought posters and they got to talk to students from other schools and scientists from the mission about what their research projects were and what they found, as well as ask more questions and find out what the scientists have been doing since they got back from Antarctica. You know, I, as scientists, we all have our own personal experiences about that person or those series of events that sprung you and pushed you into the sciences. And it's, it's different for everybody, but it seems to all, all these stories seem to have a component of an experience or someone uh, in the field talking to them, encouraging them. That seems to be common. So I'm hoping that maybe some of these students won't ever do science again and they have a little better perspective about how it works but some of them maybe this is going to be a moment where this and maybe other things culminates together to push you know push their career into oceanography or marine science or polar science and and it's it's fun to know that that is a significant possibility today was the culmination of a whole program that started last year to try and engage students to be part of our science team so they were, and there were over a, close to a thousand students that participated, and they were doing science right alongside with us. And we would love to be able to send a thousand students to Antarctica to experience it firsthand, but we can't. So this was a way that we could have scientists in New Jersey, New York, actually participate in research that's going on in Antarctica while it's going on. Every day when I was in Antarctica, there was only 44 people around for thousands of miles. And I was trying to imagine what all of these um, students were like that I was writing to. And now here they are all in front of me. And uh, I'll get a chance to talk to them and hear uh, what they learned and what they thought was interesting from the work that the scientists did. And I'll also get to see what kinds of uh, questions they came up with with their own curiosity and how they explored those, those ideas themselves. I'm really excited to see all of these posters. One of the things where we hope to give kids an experience besides just showing them the excitement and that science is fun is also the real world applications. So this goes along with a lot of what we do at Liberty Science Center in two ways. Both the students getting to meet scientists and inspire them hopefully to get involved in STEM themselves as well as to have an experience where we were supporting the teachers and supporting the students as they were working on their own investigations in doing a real scientific investigation, something where they collected data and had to come up with their own conclusions um, beyond just a science report where they're reading about science that someone else did.